You know, um, Christians are and the Jews are named people of the book in the Quran. Yes. And Muslims approach them according to the words of the Quran. I seek refuge in Allah from a cursed Satan. O people of the book, let us rally to a common formula to be binding on both us and you. That we worship none but God. That we associate no partners with him. That we erect not from among ourselves lords and patrons other than God. Surah Al Imran 64. This is indeed our call to Christians and Jews, inshallah, to rally to a common formula and uh, Jews. As people who believe in Allah and follow His revelation, let us rally to a common formula. In faith, let us love Allah, who is our Creator and Lord, and follow His commands. In your view, how can Jews and Christians and Muslims work together to build peaceful relationships, all three Abrahamic religions, and how can Muslims be educated that Radicalism and hatred against the people of the book is not a proper moral of Islam. Uh, Subhanallah, that particular verse that you have just recited uh, forms the essence of the uh, uh, of the uh, what should be the shared, you know, uh, uh, message. Kalima uh, sawa, you know, between us yeah. and you, having that, uh, and Allah na'budu illa Allah that we worship only. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we don't worship. And this is really, so the relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is tawheed. Yes. The relationship with, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is without shirk, it goes without saying. Uh, that we, uh, definitely nothing is like unto him. Uh, um, basically, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deserves to be uh, worshipped. We do believe in, the, in all the prophets, the, the 25 names that we have in the, in yes. the Quran. In fact, the story of Musa alayhi uh, salam, Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, uh, in the Quran, quantitatively, he's mentioned uh, much more than uh, anyone else. Uh, tens of times he's uh, mentioned in the Quran. His story and the story of the children Israel, of Israel is a major story, is the major story in the, uh, in the Quran. And we learn through this story what should be the proper uh, relationship with the Prophet that should, we should always uh, obey, we should submit to the will of God. We know that from that story that when the children of Israel disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when they disobeyed God, they were uh, punished for 40 years. They dwelled in the, uh, in the desert. The Quran, uh, you know, when, when the Quran speaks about the people of the book, that particular phrase, people of the book, Ahl al-Kitab, uh, I call it, you know, in, in one of, of the papers, uh, towards an Islamic theology of soft otherness. When, when they are people of the book, they are not totally other, but at the same time we have just these differences. And these differences emerged precisely because of the work of scholars. I call, the, I call their contribution post-revelational uh, constructs. If we have anything that is different between us, it's our own work. It's not basically in the original revelation. The yes. original revelation cannot basically come up with differences. If it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it should be the, uh, the same. Okay. Uh, they have, despite the differences, the uh, Prophet Muhammad sallam hosted the delegation of the Christian of Najran yes. at the mosque yes. in, in Medina for many, many uh, days. That was the only public space that used to exist in Medina. No hotels, no motels. They could not take the uh, afternoon flight back to Najran. Their animals needed to rest. They needed to rest. And uh, the Prophet sallam with the people of Medina, with the Jews of Medina, Wayahud Bani Auf, Ummatun Ma'al Muslimin, to start with that covenant that some people would call it a constitution of Medina, reaching yes. out to the Jews. We talk about a, a civil uh, you know, uh, relationship with the uh, people of the book. Of course, they have the freedom of worship. Yes. La ikraha fi din is essential in the Quran. This is in uh, Surah Al Baqarah. Uh, the, the idea is that they are free. To function and to worship and to live their own life, they, they, of course the Ottoman Empire uh, came up with the military system where they can judge in their own courts. You know they are autonomous. I've never seen anything like this in in the history of other countries. You know minorities struggle. You know the, from an Islamic point of view, the, the historical manifestation in the Ottoman Empire was very clear. They are free to run their affairs okay. according to their religion. And the food of the people of the book is lawful for you. It means that we share a meal, yes. we socialize, and also the uh, chaste women amongst the people of the book are also lawful in the sense of the maternal also, as you know, uh, part of the family could be Jew or could be uh, Christian. 
So, the bottom line is that with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Tawheed, within Muslims, it's basically the unity of the Ummah, it's a, it's a must. Uh, Verily, this, this Ummah of yours is one Ummah, I am your Lord. And uh, basically, uh, it is, uh, of course, the, the rest of the verse that we would worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, then with, the, with, with other people, it should be a relationship with injustice, that which is just. Today we see a discrepancy between the north and the south. 20% of the world population live in the north. They enjoy 80% of the resources. 80% live in the south and they enjoy only 20% of the uh, resources. This is injustice. Injustice, yes. And definitely we need to remedy this. We have today one, more than 1 billion people without, uh, without proper nutrition, more than 1 billion people without fresh water, more than 1 billion people without sanitation, more than 1 billion people who cannot sign their name. This is a shame. You know, we, we need basically to address all these issues. So with the, with the people of the book, we try to reach out, but we need to address specific issues that exist. In, and here, this is not particularly the work of people of the book, you know, qua people of the book. But in the past, we have imperialism, we have colonialism, they have divided this region. We were one state, for example, we became many, many, many uh, uh, countries. Uh, the nation state uh, is the byproduct of this uh, division while we are basically one, and we did not have the problems that, for example, that the Jews had in Europe. The, the Jewish question was a European uh, question uh, per excellence. They have suffered. Marx wrote about the Jewish question. The, the, the Russian pogroms, pogroms against the Jews, uh, the Holocaust is basically uh, European. Uh, the, uh, the protocols of the, el the elders of Zion is a, is a, Rus a Russian uh, uh, product. The Jews in the Muslim world, of course, Christian, they lived, they f they in fact, they found refuge in the Ottoman state when they, when they lived, and many Jews are still speaking Ladino right, right here in, right. in, in Istanbul. So the, the religion, the theology says you are welcome, you are free to be uh, whoever you are. The, uh, the history says, you know, you, you can be accommodated, and they have been uh, accommodated. And this is really the, the relationship. It could manifest itself again in the future if the unity of the Muslim Ummah uh, is again uh, uh, in place. Inshallah. Inshallah. This Inshallah. definitely will happen. Inshallah. And like you said at the time of our Prophet وسلم, they will be under the protection of Muslims. We will live in peace and unity. Inshallah. 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 And Jerry, your comment, Inshallah. <laughs> uh, um, well, there's one thing in there that I, I would like to touch on. Um, and because I want to bring this to the, the Western world too, so that a lot of to, to clear up some of this, because a lot of people have never heard of the information they're getting right here on this show. Um, and so, the one thing that I've discussed with a few people uh, is that they argue that, well, uh, you're Muslim, that means you don't believe in Jesus. And uh, several times I have given the website out um, that is um, Jesus, will re uh, Jesus Will Return dot com uh, and this is a Harun Yahya site and it talks all about the the second coming of Jesus uh, peace be upon him and signs from the Islamic resources uh, portents of Jesus uh, peace be upon him second coming uh, and it, it goes uh, there are uh, I think uh, about 140 chapters on this that, that cover um, just the Prophet Jesus and a lot of people in the Western world are under the, the um, misconception that Islam does not recognize Jesus. So, um, and peace be upon him. Uh, but th this is not the case. And when a lot of people see this, and this is one thing that I think is so great about Harun Yahya's writings, uh, is that these are readily available and they are free. And people can go to these sites, especially here, because I use them all the time. And most people that I have sent to that site will come back to me and they think, and they tell me that is the most beautiful thing they've ever seen, that they've ever read. Uh, because actually in Islam, uh, the uh, Islam, I think, actually puts more emphasis, love, and respect on, on all the prophets than even the Bible does. And that's my personal view. I don't want to project that on anybody and say this is anybody's organizational view, but that's my view from what I know of it. Uh, so these, uh, I think this is one way that, uh, not only to bring 
the different religions together, but to get people to understand that the there are very, really very few differences between the Abrahamic religions. There are differences indeed, but those differences are nothing that can't be worked over, or that can't be worked past. We're all here. We're all created by the same God. So um, I, I can't stress enough uh, to people watching the show with the information uh, that uh, our guest is putting out, that uh, Mustafa Abusway is, is putting out here, that a lot of this, if they have questions, they can go to Haran Yahya, and they can also go and find his books. Uh, so this is, I think this is one great way to bring religions together and also to educate um, Muslims that are uh, practicing bigotry, basically, the, the radicalization and hatred against people of the books, that, whether they're Islamic or they're um, Christian or Jewish or, or of any other faith or of no faith. I, I think that uh, the education is the biggest thing here to get uh, a lot of the radicalism and hatred to dissipate between all people. Mashallah. Uh, Inshallah. Yeah, Inshallah. I would like simply to, uh, you know, just, uh, um, you know, uh, it's very beautiful what you have just said about uh, all the prophets and also about uh, uh, Prophet uh, Jesus Christ, uh, peace upon him. Uh, in fact, the, the Quran, uh, to start with, subhanAllah, there is a, a certain, uh, like, progression, if you will, uh, that God basically, in, in the verse, God chose basically Adam, uh, Noah, uh, uh, Abraham and the uh, Al Imran over uh, all other people. So as if we talk about, you know, this is like Adam. Of course, he's the beginning of humanity. Uh, Noah Ali Salam. There was another, in a, you know, uh, another beginning, if you will, because we have the flood. Uh, then Ibrahim Ali Salam. We talk about a, a, a different stage. You know, uh, he's the one who uh, called us Muslims. In the, in the sense of submitting to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Al Imran, there is something special about this family because from that family, uh, the mother of Mary uh, uh, you know, dedicated her before she, she gave birth to her. And uh, Maryam, uh, Mary, peace upon her, she, you know, she's the only woman to be named in the Quran by name. There are women characters, but the only proper name in the Quran for a woman is Mary. And uh, chapter 19 is dedicated, uh, it's named after Mary, Surah Maryam. Uh, peace upon her, and then a very pious woman that God says in the Quran she was chosen over all women of earth, Mashallah. and she basically received she received basically the uh, the uh, the message that she was going to uh, bear a, a child uh, without a human father. It's the word of God to Mary, and she had you know ultimately no choice but to submit to the will of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And here we have Jesus Christ, He's the word of God uh, to Mary. A miraculous beginning, a miraculous uh, end, God raised, raised him unto him. Uh, he basically uh, called his people to the uh, worship uh, the one and uh, only God. And he performed miracles that Christians are familiar uh, with. And in fact, when, when you, know, the, you have this story, his disciples, the, uh, in chapter 5 of the Quran, Al-Ma'idah, it is you know, uh, something similar uh, to the Last Supper. We don't use that uh, wording, of course, but his disciples asked for a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it came in, in, that, in that fashion, you know, uh, a table with viands that came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We, we recognize, as you said, uh, Jesus Christ, peace upon him. We believe in him as a prophet uh, and as a distinguished prophet of, uh, of God. In 1400 years of Islamic literature, not even one single bad or negative word was ever mentioned about Mary or Jesus Christ. We, we are as prolific as the other people Subhanallah, we have never said anything wrong, but ultimately no divinization, and this is the key word. Mashallah. Mashallah. I mean, you gave very uh, powerful evidences, from, both from the Quran and examples and evidences from the life of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, how the approach against people of the book would be. And you talked about the union of Muslims also will protect them also, Inshallah. Inshallah. Mashallah. 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 Mashallah.